Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here on the main channel. It is time once again for a road trip and we're doing it in the S65. In other news, we finally have the RS7 back. Now we're gonna do a full video on this car. Once I get back from North Carolina, the car looks better than it did new. The shop that worked on it did a phenomenal job. So it's back together looking like it should. So it's about eight o'clock. We're gonna get on the road. We've got about almost 500 miles to drive. Hopefully this time around, um, it goes pretty smoothly. Unlike last time I went to North Carolina, or the time before that at least. <laughs> so we're starting this trip off right with bananas, apples, water, GoPro cord, but no gas. So we're gonna be driving for a while. I got 463 miles left. We've only gone 18 miles. I'm gonna have to turn on a podcast or something uh, to get time to pass a little better. I don't know how eventful it's going to be, so I'm gonna just check in with you guys whenever I can. Hopefully we don't have a run in with the law like we did last time. It's just like pretty much every time I drive to North Carolina has something to do with police. So one thing that's gonna be kind of annoying during this trip because it's raining constantly is these windshield wipers. They don't really smear, but they make this freaking noise every time. Listen to this. <laughs> that's one of those things after like seven hours, ah, you wanna jump out of the car. I need new windshield wipers. That'd be very interesting to, to see what windshield wipers for an S-Class like this is. Probably some stupid number. Now the thing is, I haven't coated my windshield on my own, but it kind of is coated, so I pretty much don't have to use the windshield wipers, which is good. I don't know if this is coming out on, on camera because it's just drizzling out, but yeah. West Virginia. So this most likely doesn't come out on video either, but this is not just rain, it is freaking snowing here. And we're uh, getting up in the mountains in West Virginia. I think I gotta check the weather app or the radar on the weather app. Yeah, look at that. That's snow. Come on, man. And look at that. Shut up. Shut up. And that's even more snow. I mean, that weather is not something that you expect in April. It should be spring now. Not chance of freaking snow flurry storms. It's so stupid. And Waze is just completely flipping out. Having me turn left and right everywhere it just keeps changing its mind. I don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, look at this. It's like completely off. What are you doing over here, dude? Yep, it is straight up snowing. Those are big old flakes. And again, it probably doesn't come out on video, but those are snowflakes. I was stuck in Jane Lou once. Remember that? All right, so we're 183 miles in. Uh, we gotta get our first little piss break here and then hopefully just fill her up one more time until we're there. Look at that, my windshield wiper stopped making noise. This is what it's supposed to be like. The weather keeps flipping, like it's straight up snowing again. I mean, granted, we are up in the mountains, so I do kind of get it, I guess. But, and see, my windshield wipers are making noise again. <laughs> it's so weird. Now, one thing to think about if you're traveling through West Virginia, and it's a toll road. Many times uh, they don't take cards and I pretty much never carry cash. So I did make sure to have some cash for this trip here. Uh, I think, shut the f up. So this one's only 75 cents. Obviously I can find some coins in here, but there's another one that's $4 and they don't take cards. You have to have cash. <laughs> I think this is hail now. It's making a whole lot of noise, I know that. So here's the second toll booth. And if you don't have cash here, which I haven't had many, many times, um, it just becomes complicated. So if you're traveling through here and you haven't done it before, remember, I have some cash at hand. That's a beer I'm going, Virginia in my home sweet home. Well, good morning. We made it to North Carolina. We're at my buddy Denny's place. It's a beautiful, crisp morning here. It's about 40 degrees. They've had it in the 80s, but uh, I don't really know what's going on temperature-wise here, but got the Lambo. Look at that thing. It's so nice. 
another V12 here that now looks like crap. I think there even was some salt yesterday on the roads. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see right here, the wheels look like crap. So what we're gonna do now is wash the car up. I'm not really gonna film that, I've done that a million times, but we wanna get ready for the car show tomorrow. And that's not gonna cut it. All right, focus, focus, focus. There we go. All right, well, it's time for Raleigh Cars and Coffee. I haven't filmed Cars and Coffee content in so long, I feel like. We got the car washed up yesterday. It is the next morning. There's insane amounts of pollen here in Raleigh. So thankfully I could park the car in the garage so it does, it's not green. I'm gonna take the Aventador out, S65 and get rolling. So I hate when this happens. Like I set up the tripod because I wanted to get a cold start of the AMG as it is a V12. And then what we're gonna do the same with the Aventador. But uh, I never turned the camera on. <laughs> and this happens more often than not, which is unfortunate. And um, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm not very good at my job. But as most of you guys know already, this car belongs to one of my closest friends. His name is Denny. Check him out on Instagram, give him a follow. Great dude, has great cars. He actually has, I think it's a 67 Nova that he's fully built, has 1400 horsepower. It's going to be down here, I think this month, and I'll be coming back down there. I wanna do a review of that thing, because it's so different from anything that I've filmed on my, on my channel. It's gonna be absolutely badass. So give him a follow to stay updated on all this fun stuff. <laughs> being straight pipe and catless that thing is so loud oh my god look at that blue cephas huracan evo oh my god that's a good color for that car wow that looks amazing man that's sick i love it denny you're a little dusty here buddy a little dirty <laughs> it's funny because i know how anal he is so it's bothering him big time isn't it Danny? Bothering you big time, huh? I'm glad you pointed it out, thank you. That's how much pollen's in the air. Look on the ground right there, look at all the green on the ground. Yeah. With a black car, you have no chance. Now you're scratching my paint, thank no, you. No, I'm not. Oh, look at that. My biggest fan. How much am I getting paid for that? <laughs> I can't believe I'm starting the footage of this car show with a freaking Cybertruck, but I've never seen one. Uh, it's the first time, well, I actually saw one on the road, and they have two of them, look at that. They got black one too. It looks like a tin box. So today's theme here at Cars and Coffee is Ferrari Day, and this is the first time I'm seeing a Pur Sang. This thing is absolutely insane. This has to be the coolest freaking SUV that you can buy. NA E12. It's a dealership car, but still. This thing is gnarly. I love it. Look at these wheels. Stock wheels, 22s. That is so nice. Dude, look how many people are here. It's absolutely insane. Like, it's hard to film because there's so, much, so many people around. But we got a piece right here. We got a 296. If you guys haven't seen Car Wow's video where they raced a 296 versus an SF90 that's over there, can't even see it. This thing beat an SF90. That's how quick this car is. Did you know that, Denny? I did not. Dude, it's stupid fast. 
and it sounds good. It sounds better than an SF90. It's a six one. The way. Yeah, it's insane. Pista is one of my favorite Ferraris, though. Love this car. Got a gold SF90 Spider. That's interesting. Very interesting. I mean, it is absolutely packed here. Pittsburgh Cars and Coffee is like a fifth of this. This is huge. This is pretty interesting. It's like a Pikes Peak or a 32 Golf. This thing is nasty. Wow, what the hell? That's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. So we're leaving the car show now, and this is absolutely insane for a cars and coffee. I mean, there's just people lined up everywhere. It is huge in Raleigh, North Carolina, man. So we're on our way home. We're in Virginia. It's one state I've never been pulled over in. And, um, you know, we're going in the flow of traffic here. I thought maybe this unmarked cop was coming for me, but he was coming for this Honda Civic Si that's been uh, ahead of me the whole time. I don't know where this cop was um, sitting, because I never saw him. So he was uh, unmarked, that's for sure. Sorry, buddy. And from what I hear, you know, from uh, the comments of me being pulled over here and there in different states, is that Virginia is the worst. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good thing we haven't been pulled over here. We made it home, no pullovers, nothing. And we're back in a 75 degree Pittsburgh. We left a 58 degree Raleigh, North Carolina. It's funny how that works. South was cold. The north is now warm. But we're not gonna check out the view. We're gonna head on up to the garage. So the AMG did great on the road trip. I know it might have seemed like, you know, that was a very quick trip and just a few minutes of the car show type of footage, but I was there the whole weekend, you know, playing golf, doing all that stuff that I don't film on this channel. And that Cars and Coffee, it was actually Morrisville. It wasn't Raleigh, although it's like same place ish. And as I mentioned in the video, that's the biggest cars and coffee I've ever been to. It's like 3,000 cars, as you guys could see from the drone footage. I don't even think I got all of it, but it was packed. It was absolutely awesome. It was a beautiful day, although it was a little chilly. I will definitely be making it back there, especially when Denny's 1500 horsepower, it wasn't 1400, it's 1500 horsepower Nova is done. I'm gonna go down there, it's gonna be awesome. But anyhow, AMG did great on the road trip, but we're gonna hop in to the R7, which is now back. She's looking better than ever. Absolutely love this car. Oh yeah. Here we get a little different angle of the skyline of Pittsburgh going downtown. This city is so cool to drive down into because where I live is up on a hill back there. You see everything down and then you drive down. It's just, I, I love it. A uh, little downshift. This car sounds so good, which is another fun thing about Pittsburgh. There's so many tunnels and like underpasses. So if you're one of these sound geek nerds like myself, you can have a lot of fun driving around in Pittsburgh. Well, I should have checked this before. Um, there was obviously just a pirate game right now and I was gonna film down here, but it's packed. I wanted a different scenario, like a different background for once to film, but this isn't gonna work. But I wanna take a second here and film the RS7 as it is back. It is fully fixed and how happy I am with the result of this car. I have had cars, you know, part of cars repainted before, like the Ferrari had the, uh, it was on the driver's side, but it was a rear quarter panel and it didn't match perfectly. It didn't look as good as I had hoped for, especially on a car like that. And then, prior to getting all this fixed, we had a new fuel door. And that was painted by Audi, or whoever they used, but it, it was an Audi dealership. And you would think that they would get the uh, paint codes, you know, correct, and match up the paint and so on. But it didn't match, as you guys can see by this footage here. So now that we had the full job done by a local body shop here in Pittsburgh, um, we have the new side skirt, obviously. 
This whole door is new and repainted. I don't know if anyone can see any kind of difference. The paint is matched up perfectly. They also took and repainted this fuel door, so now it matches up perfectly. Obviously, I'm super happy about the result, but it baffles me that Audi, who originally painted the new fuel door, couldn't get it right, and it didn't match at all. But this local uh, body shop here in Pittsburgh called Graceland Automotive, by the way, got it completely right. The car looks fantastic, and I'm just, I'm so happy because I love this car. Obviously, it looked like complete crap, and it was all my fault. My dumbass, you know, jacked up the car in a slanted driveway, and it fell off the jack. If you didn't know already, now you know. And it ripped off the side skirt, it dented up the door, and so on. But just look at the car now. I mean, it looks great. So super happy about the result, super happy that the car is back. Um, still baffled though that Audi couldn't paint it correctly, at least the fuel door. But uh, Graceland Automotive could. So yeah, R7 is back. I know I mentioned in a previous video that I might get rid of it. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to get rid of it because I love the car so much. It's perfect. And the next video coming up on the channel is going to be a dedicated video to the R7. I mean, what replaces this car? in the same price range, obviously. I mean, if money isn't a problem, there's tons of cars that can uh, replace this car, but for the price range, I mean, there's like pretty much nothing that can beat this thing. Okay, so we finally have both of the cars next to each other in the garage again. There's no um, secret that I like German cars. <laughs> Had a lot of German cars on the channel. The only one that really, you know, was, was different was the Ferrari, because that was Italian. but. We have the R7, the AMG, four C63s, we've had an R8, we had an E60 M5. That is definitely my favorite, you know, country who makes cars is Germany. So we got the Audi flag, we got the AMG in the back there, obviously we got an M flag, and then we have the Ferrari flag. If it gets replaced, it will most likely be uh, a German car. Now with me, you know, doing what I do for a living, I have to kind of think a little strategic. If it was just up to me and not making content stuff, I'd just get another 204 C63. I miss having a 204. Um, you know, it's my favorite C. But there's nothing I can really do content-wise that's different from what I've already done with four other C63s. You know what I mean? So I'll definitely wait with a C63 until you know, I, I get a C63 Black Series. Because whenever I get a C63 Black Series, that will be one of my forever cars that I never get rid of. Um, because that is my favorite AMG of all time, is a 204 Black Series. Uh, you know, I need one of those. So, um, I don't know, you know, if I'm ever gonna get rid of it. Like I said, I love this car. I might just keep it. So I got some decisions to make, like I mentioned in the previous video, but yeah, um, that's gonna do it for today's upload. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Carson Coffee content. If you guys like the type of Carson Coffee content, um, you know, I'll definitely do more of that. Just let me know in the comments. And also, uh, one of the first times, I think, driving to North Carolina and I haven't been pulled over. Some people think I do that on purpose to like create content and stuff. Now, obviously I don't. I was taking it easy this trip. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Stop and by for the first time if you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.